In this video, I'm not only going to show you how you can make a 3D gotcha plotting model and crop it, nor how you can use it in Unreal Engine and create a simple project like this, but more importantly, I want to show you a glimpse of the future that we're heading toward. And I'm telling you, it's a bright one. So buckle up and let's go. Hey guys, my name is Jack. The 3D scanning world is at full racing speed right now. Technologies can be easily replaced by better ones overnight. It's just crazy. Yes, I'm talking about the 3D Gaussian plotting. In our last video, we explained what 3D Gaussian plotting was and why it was a big deal for us. And you know us, we've kept ourselves busy to keep up with this crazy race. Ever since we launched the 3DGS update in the Curie Engine app last month, we've tremendously improved the 3DGS quality and other stuff. And now, I am so happy to introduce the Curie Engine version 3.5 update. With this update, you can now crop and edit the 3D Gaussian plotting model directly in the Curie Engine app. All right, I'm not sure if you've noticed, but cropping feature is very important if you want to push the 3D Gaussian plotting into a usable level. Because when we look at how games and most of the 3D projects were designed and developed, it normally doesn't need a whole 3D scan scene. And instead, it needs a ton of 3D assets so the 3D artists can position and combine those 3D assets freely. But when we do 3D Gaussian plotting, we get entire 3D scene. And there are very limited tools out there available for us to crop out the object in it and use the 3D Gaussian plotting objects. So let's take a look at how you can edit the 3D Gaussian plotting directly in the Curie Engine app. This new edit feature will only work with the new 3DGS model in the Curie Engine app. So please update your app in the App Store and Play Store and create a new 3DGS model to start with. And look what I got. So I just scanned this model car that's been sitting around in our office like forever, and I got an amazing 3D Gaussian plotting model to work with. Cool, so now we have the model. Let's first crop out the entire surrounding. So in the new Curie Engine update, you will immediately notice two side buttons that's in the 3 dgs viewer, crop and transformation. So let's try cropping first. So you now have three cropping tools for you to choose from. A sphere selector, a plane cutter, and my personal favorite, a brush tool. And also you will notice very tiny but dense red points appearing in your 3DGS viewer. Those are the point cloud of a 3D Gaussian plotting and they are red if they are unselected and we'll see later when they are selected and they will turn yellow. First of all, let's try sphere. In a sphere selector, anything inside the sphere is selected. So you can move the sphere by controlling it via the X, Y, and Z adjusters. And also you can make it larger or smaller with the radius adjuster to cover the right areas. But for the sphere selector, for example, if I want to crop out everything outside the sphere, not inside, once we move and scale the sphere to the place and size we want, we need to first press the invert button to invert the selection. And then we can comfortably delete those points. See, it's already much cleaner. With the plane cutter, you can choose to separate the points along a plane and delete one side of the points. I find this one very effective when trying to crop out the ground of the 3DGS model, like this. And here we go. But even with these two cropping tools, it's almost impossible to get a clean 3DGS model. You can see there's still a lot of floating points that are close to the main object. And that's why we'll need a third tool, that's the brushing tool. With the brush tool, you can freely draw around the points to select them. And it's the same as others, you can delete the selected ones. So I took my time here to make sure the floating points were removed as much as possible. And now, after several brushes, I can gladly say that we now have a super clean 3D Gaussian spotting model that is ready to go. Well, 
Before we can actually import and use the super clean 3DGS model, first we'll have to install a 3DGS plugin. Well, in my last video, I recommended a paid version of that plugin that's available in the Unreal Engine store. But, well, it's still great. But in this time, I actually found a free one for you guys. Well, I've put the link to the free 3DGS plugin in the description area. So help yourself. All right, let's use the link and download the zip file of the plugin. And once you've downloaded, we need to unzip the folder and copy the entire folder to where your Unreal Engine plugins are located. In my case, it's under this path. All right, we can then just paste the folder here and that's it for implementing the plugin into our Unreal Engine. And to help make my first 3D Gaussian splotting object look beautiful in the Unreal Engine, I asked my team to help prepare this Unreal Engine scene so I can do all the magic here. And to enable the 3DGS plugin, go to the Edit, Plugins, and then check on our XV3DGS icon. It may ask you to restart the project, and that's okay. You can just restart it, and now the plugin should be integrated into the project. To get the 3DGS file that we just cropped, you can use the export feature in the Curie Engine app and send it to your email. And then you can just click on the 3DGS plugin and import the file. Once you imported the 3DGS file, it won't automatically show in the scene, but instead it is saved in your content drawer. If you want, you can first double click on the file to further edit the model. But as a new Unreal Engine user myself, I find this to be super complex and even buggy sometimes. So instead, you can just drag the file to the scene and boom, it is now in your scene. But most likely, it is not going to be in the desired location. But this is not a problem because you can easily drag and scale it in the Unreal Engine and to put it in the perfect place that you want. And here we go. Wow. It's just so cool to see a photorealistic 3D Gaussian plotting object to be in the full Unreal Engine project. Although there's still many, many things that we need to do before the 3D Gaussian plotting can be actually useful, with this powerful 3DGS editing tool in your smartphone, I am confident that we are definitely one step closer. And when we get to the point that the 3D artist can utilize the full power of 3D Gaussian plotting in the 3D pipeline, that's when you won't be able to tell the difference between the real world and the digital ones. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? But until then, see you in the next video.